right, people. Welcome back. More. 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 Where am I going with this? I don't know. More vitamin Y. <laughs> I was like, what? what, 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 what hello? <laughs> All right. So, today is Ubuxy Day. Yay, Ubuxy's Day. So, like I said, I promised I was going to look at the extra deck. I think I only made one change. Like, the deck had two black roses. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't need two black roses. I don't, I don't, I don't need two black roses. So I took out one black rose and I dropped, and I put in, of course, a powerful clear wing synchro dragon. Despite this being Ubuxy's, I do have access to some uh, uh, synchro abilities. Ew, this hand is not that good. This is absolutely not that good. If I had like a dark Gruff or something, which of course we run triple of, triple rota. So got these two from the number generators. So that's nice, I guess. Not really. So, overall, just a just a shitty hand. My opponent chose for me to go first, which, I, you know. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose. <laughs> Raid Raptors, oh, yeah, we're going to lose. <laughs> He's going to out-resource me, outpace me, and I'm going to lose, especially with this hand. So, go ahead and go into Strix, detach the Mimicry search, Mimicry effect, go ahead and search again. Oh, no, Fuzzy is on here. Oh, okay. Oh, well then when he detaches Fuzzy. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and exceed those two. Yep, going to Strix. Who are you detaching? Are you gonna detach Mimicry or you're gonna detach Fuzzy? Either way, it doesn't matter, so. Strix, get you a search. Mimicry, get you a search. Like, this man's gonna get straight up plus. He's just gonna straight up plus. My hand is fucking garbage and. My deck is, of course, not even close to being on par with his deck. Like, Raid Raptors aren't good, but they're better than me, you know? Wow, you're not going to attack. Well, I can try. At least I don't have to worry about him playing like mistake on me or anything like that. Alright, I'm trying to think who I sh what I should do. Uh I'm thinking about sending uh what's that? Okay. Think about sending Eris. Yeah, of course. Uh Think about special summoning Dark Graffer, but I'm like, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll get away with it. Like, no, no, you're not going to get away with it. If you opened up with the Bruise Dragon and you bailed, then what do you think that he's not going to fucking open up with Bottomless? Like, I don't know. I guess I was just saying, I was just asking for him. Like, please, please, Daddy, please fucking fuck me in the ass of Bottomless. I got to do shit this entire duel. I was hoping for the Rota for the Dark Graffer. I got it, and it was off or not. I was thinking about blind spacing, but... I probably would have went after the middle one, so I was still got the bottomless. <sighs> so let's see if he'll just kick the living shit out of me and I won't get to duel at all. Which I'm, I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. I didn't even get to use my Dark Graffer. He's just like, as soon as I hit the field, he's like, nope, bottom. I was like, okay. Okay, thanks. Now I'm going to proceed to search and plus and search and plus and search and plus. Like, oh. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool, I guess. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, what? What? No, no. How'd you... Vanish effect? You don't get vanish effect. If this card was normal summoner special summon this turn... This turn. This turn. You 
don't get that effect. I'm like, wait, what? I was like, wait, is that effect activated once per turn? Yeah, I think no. During the turn that it's normal to special summon this turn, then you can special summon a Red Raptor. So, those two are back in your hand. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna switch your normal summon. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Because it works like that. <laughs> oh, I'm. D oh, well, this is my normal summon then. Like, no, you already committed to the normal summon. Like, if this was fucking Dev Pro or YGO Pro, that would have been your normal summon. But because it's on fucking DN, like, I'm like, no, thank you. Like, no, thank you. Let's go ahead and get a different door. And, like, really? Even in tournament setting, you would normal summon. You know? As soon as you would have took your hand off that card, that's your normal summon. Like, heck of. Like, no thank you. Like, oh yeah, because you could totally just go ahead and just switch up your normal summon after you've already used your normal summon. Oh, never mind, I wouldn't normal summon this. Like, no. But hey, who cares? I was probably going to lose anyway, so it didn't really didn't even matter because my hand was so shitty. And then the one card that fucking saved me and turned my hand from fucking crap to decent, he bottom misses, of course. Oh, let's try to get another duel in. Like, nigga, you don't even know how to play your own game? You don't even know your own monsters? I was, I was gonna go Dark Graffer Effect, Pitchy Bell, send Aeris, Aeris, go ahead and search me. And then I could actually use uh, Masculine in my hand to go ahead and go for Black Rose. That was the idea, anyway. And I would have Aeris, Bell, and Black Rose, and Dark Graffer. I would have, you know, a nice chunk of different levels in the graveyard. Mm. Ten's not great. It's not terrible either, though. I wish I would have got some Revival, of course, but. Go ahead and send you Bell. I'm not gonna set the MST because it's just not worth it. Because I don't want him to go and MST my MST, I'd rather MST something of his. So, 60 card deck, no extra deck. This might be just it up fucking U Galaxy's alley for a, a possible victory. Because, of course, Galaxy was the be summoned by the Bruise Dragon. So, I can actually go, you know, the Bruise Dragon effect, summon Galaxy was it makes them both. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's on Galaxy Wizard. I'm not going to use this effect because I already have a Galaxy Queen's Eye. I'd rather exceed with it. No, I'm keeping it once. Back, detach. Go ahead and get me a Mouse Chameleon. So then I can go to Breeze Dragon, to Breeze Dragon, summon back. Galaxy Wizard. I think your effect is get it, isn't it? Yeah, your effect is get it, which is totally fine. I'm good. When is it? When is the card card kind of set by sending one theme type monster you control it with? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy. I'll probably just go debris, summon back you and the XC into uh uh one oh one and take you. Interesting. Send kind of fiends into fiends, summon that, I'm like okay. This is that attack decoration, so the field has changed, which of course I could redeclare if I wanted to, but why would I redeclare? Once again, what's up with these, like, 4,000 monsters, fucking strong-ass monsters that can't be destroyed by battle? Like, nigga, you're 4 fucking thousand. You really think I'm gonna fucking show you? Like, nah. Once the you could return all face-up trap cards you control to the hand. Damn, that's powerful. Gotta return that call of the haunted. <laughs> Activate it, see with it, do something, whatever with the monster, and then fucking return it back to the hand. Like the power. Okay, so I'm assuming it's gonna go ahead, attack, attack, then the top part off my deck. It's fine. Wow, you're not gonna attack, nigga. 
get rid of that card because I'm about to handle this right this upcoming turn. Like nigga, really nigga? That's just like wow. You totally should have fucking killed me. There's no reason not to kill me. I guess you're really scared of the mirror force. I don't know. So I'll just go after you. So normal summon. Breeze effect. Go ahead and summon us. Our galaxy with effect negated. Then summon phase one. Go ahead and XC. And two. 101. Alright. You. I'm gonna go ahead and have you kill you. Which, of course, you will get your effect. Is that effect mandatory? When this card is sent from the field to graveyard, add one W on monster. Yeah, yep, yes, it is. Mandatory. I literally can't. Yeah, but say I can't do anything until you resolve that effect. It's just like with freaking close life. Right? Like I don't want the effect. You don't have a choice. <laughs> you have to add a zombie monster with 1200 defense or less from your deck to your hand. And if you don't have one, then it could add itself. So I'm assuming that you're in multiple copies. It can add itself. But uh. If you don't have one, then I get to deck check you because the effect is mandatory. Um, or if we're doing a tournament, you can have a judge come over to confirm. Look at your entire deck. Yep, and get yourself added. It's fine. Pokey for 23. That's it. What do I have in my graveyard? Lots of force. So far, I don't have anything level yet. I mean, next turn, I can go Mass Chameleon summon back. You battle Galaxy Queen Flight, make them both 10 XC into uh, Dora. It's gonna crash into me? It'll quit much of it. Which one? Which one? During each of your stand by phases, pay a thousand life buttons. So I drop down to 100, 1,100. You're at 1,100, so we crash. So we come across the. Oh, no, you're equipping it to your monster. Equip monster gains 1,000 attack and loses 1,000 defense. Okay. But that was on my card. So you go up to 2,100, and we still crash, and then I'll just detach to negate the destruction. Which means that I don't even have to do anything. Still, we'll get one more duel in this video because clearly this wasn't a good duel. But the shit kicked out of me, he dueled against someone who I kicked the shit out of. So, hopefully, we'll get like one more duel in. Hmm. So, we'll go ahead and just go. Let's go in. Effect. Then, to the bell. Back to the galaxy queen's light. Like 10. So yes, like uh, that's another reason why I, why I like synchroing with the deck because that automatically just gives me another level, you know, whether it be going into hot red or going into black rose or something, no complaints. So this is definitely it, unless he has, of course, has something to block me, like a battle fader or something. Sure, not really, but sure, I'll just, I'll say it just to humor you. I won't even attack with the king for arms. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up. All right, one more duel. And I gotta get back to doing my goddamn online class homework. She gives lectures like like a podcast. You sit there and listen to it, and <laughs> I thought I just couldn't read. I can't even listen either. Like if it, if I'm not interested into whatever it is, I can't do it. So I'm I'm in trying. I've been sitting there like listening. I I have I wiped out all distractions as much as I can. I have a song stuck in my head, so that, that's not helping. 
<laughs> like literally I'm trying to sit there and listen to her talk I'm like humming the song that's stuck in my head and it's like oh god damn it what'd she just say yeah. like so far she's making us put in that work when it comes to uh, this class opened up okay with this hand I still got to send you bells got the revival got regeki and foolish Seems like you always open up with like two two cards at one. I'm done. Go ahead and take your turn, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Three. All right. Yeah, you reveal the cards. I say three. Does it right? You just say mill or banish the top card of the deck. Like if you're doing like, you're pretty much doing right pot of duality right now. Just mill top, mill top three reveal. All right, trade in. Okay. Trading. What else? Gold Sark. One more. Hopefully you get a electronic. Nope. Damn. The Snuggles. Hey, you're still okay though, because I don't even have any monsters yet, so. This man must have like a fucking like a terrible, terrible computer. He's super slow. I think it's taking forever to do the like the simplest things. Oh, that was quick. Shuffle your deck. Oh, you got that machine dupe? Oh, you're just gonna talk me for one hundred. I will take it. I'll take it. Almost every monster in my deck can kill that thing, so. Set some back row. Three, three. All right. Or I could just not get any fucking monsters at all. That, that sounds like an awesome fucking plan. Awesome. Like I said, almost every monster can kill that thing, but nah. How about I just not get any monsters? That sounds like a fucking awesome plan. All right. He rolled a five. Like he should definitely get one. I'm just asking for it now. Our valley. My control. Ancient rules. What the fuck? There's one. Where's the semicolon on here? Once per turn you contribute one more tonic monster. You control except for to destroy one card in the field. That's weird that there's no like semicolon. So I guess they happen simultaneously. So let's see if I can actually bait him into using his slingshot effect on my terror incarnate. I mean on my Yubel. But I want you to use this effect. Seems like there's no semicolon, doesn't seem like I can chain. Alright, I guess I'm sign. I see if I can bait him into doing it. <laughs> and my hand's not too hot, so you want to go ahead? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm getting night. Hmm. I'll go ahead and have Armageddon Knight send. Uh. Have Armageddon Knight send Eris. Eris, get me. Nefarious Ashton Nefariousness. And then I'll have you bell tribute on again tonight if something doesn't happen to him.
Oh, I should have turned G-Bell to attack mode in case I get mirror forced. Okay. Might throw the Regeki at you. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw the Regeki at you. So while he controls the face off Mortronic, all level 4 higher monsters your opponent controls cannot the current attack or change their battle position. So I cannot change G Bell's battle position. Okay. So G Bell was just stuck in defense mode. Not that I really care, but it wasn't worth my MST. Maybe it was, actually. I forgot I had the MST, really. I just really, I just wanted to get rid of cell phone. Like, cell phone's who I wanted to get rid of because. I'm tired of you fucking plussing every turn off of the fact. Like, I got monsters now. This duel is getting started. I don't I got nefarious arch and nefariousness right here. Like the power. Go ahead. This man is taking forever. Like, his computer is like, whew. Like, unless you're pl I'm playing something during the phase, in which case I don't care. Just come on. So the next time I can go ahead and summon the Ferris Archer and the Ferris Ness, you tribute and Ferris Archer and the Ferris Ness. Then the end phase after that, during his end phase, I just go, and the Ferris Archer and the Ferris Ness, you Bell, summon it, then summon Terror. Go. See, this is this is one of the reasons why I don't like Dan. Freaking YGO Pro or Dev Pro, he would have timed out by now. But in Dan, we pretty much just sit here and look at each other until we're good and ready. Until he's looking into my dreamy, you say eyes. Look at that sexy sounding skull. Like, come on. All right, I'm gonna give him till 23. If he's not, if he hasn't taken his turn by 23 minutes, I mean, I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. Clearly, it just seems like he's just gone. Like, I just regekied, ended my turn, passed to you, and now you don't want to do anything. Like, nigga, you were just here a second ago. Like, what happened? Did your did your computer freeze? Like, what what happened? I shit you not. You got till twenty three. If you don't do something, if you don't take your turn in twenty three, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the top card of my deck and quit. It just straight up looks like you're not here anymore. So, awesome. Of course, we did not have time to get another dual one either. Alright. That's the wizards. How, did, how was I going to combo with that? Maybe later in the duel. Alright, so that's one way to win a duel. Just literally just go AFK. I mean, it's not going to work in rated because, of course, they'll call an admin and then, you know, you'll get a game loss. But hey, it works in unrated. Unless your opponent just wants to kind of sit there and wait for you to uh, get kicked off for being AFK. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call up So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Keepout. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.